How's it going, everyone? My name is Do Girl, and welcome back to Dragon Fable. Last time we left off, Janiah Acranthus, and I forget what name Sep Sepulchre's going by now, but all advanced their own plans for whatever it is they're planning. <laughs> Now we can, since it is unfortunately Friday the 13th was yesterday, so I'm a day late. So let's just do it to it with uh, this year's Friday the 13th with Lanta, with uh, Rimthalas. <clears throat> oh, Spruce is scrubbing the floor. Doesn't uh, the new innkeeper do anything about that anymore? And then I'm not really sure I even want to go to the gala, but I guess I have to. Uh, oh! When I asked how you were doing, I I didn't expect you, me, expect you to tell me your entire life story. Make us. Ah, uh, sorry. There's just a lot going on in my life right now, and it was good to have someone to talk to who doesn't just keep asking for dragon snacks. What about you? Me? Yeah. Oh, Spruce. Tell me about yourself. I'm sure you've had many adventures and stories of your own to tell. Are you calling me old? N no Not at all! I, I just thought that I'm joking. I'm well aware of my age and my experience. I still have some time. We still have some time before the thirteenth day you people dread so much begins. So I suppose it could share some of my story. I'm co uh, I come from La Shayak, the land of adventures. I was raised by wolves in the big tree forest. Big tree, I think it is. <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> A lot of strange words in this one. Sorry. <coughs> Wolves? Yes. I never knew my real parents. But how did that work? Were they big wolves? Did they teach you how to read and do maths? <laughs> like the maths at the end. <laughs> I don't know why. They were my family, Tristina. And they were all killed by bandits while I was still young. When I was still young. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Of course you didn't. I swore my revenge and left Big Tree. In my travels, I met a hermit living in the deep, deepest glades of the endless marsh. Who taught me the ways of humans. Introduced me to the glory of the makers. And bestowed upon me the sword I now carry. Sorry, just their faces making me laugh. Oh! <laughs> and that tops it! <laughs> Spruce. With the tracking skills I learned in my youth, I eventually found the very same bandit group that slew my family and had my revenge. Oh, no, she has horns on her. Huh. A ram? I think it is. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I'm sorry. And after I cut down the last of the bandits, when going through their belongings, I found they had been hired by some wom by a woman named Laville. High Priestess Laville, the advisor to the Holy Throne. It was her who was responsible for my family's deaths. Hmm, holy. I don't appreciate the word in that context, but okay. And so... I traveled to the I traveled the breadth of La Shayak, gathering allies and training in order to ultimately infiltrate the dark palace in the city of Rex Machinin, the seat of the Holy Watch of La Shayak. The Dark Palace The use of the element in of darkness is very prominent in La Shayak. I believe the Dark Palace was named thus by our ancestors in a rather less creative time. 
But don't you worship the ev uh the makers? <laughs> oh, Spruce! I think you need to go to bed. You're cleaning too much. The makers are not the same as magic, Tristina. Just because we have an affinity for a specific element does not mean we do not worship the makers equally. Huh. I see. Uh, anyway, eventually... Well, this is more shiny now. Anyway, eventually, our party of I, Utana Dins, the sword sorcerer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I haven't laughed this hard in ages. <laughs> it's hard to ignore Spruce because he keeps... It seems like he's butting in, but okay. Oh, shoot. Don Fayette, the healer. Ayaz Emha, the bard. And Pullen Strings, the archer. Nice. Infiltrated the dark palace under the guise of pilgrims. We confronted the high priestess with her heresy. And I prepared to be... And as I prepared to behead her before the holy throne, my sword burst with the vibrance of the makers, and all in attendance watched as it, it, guided by the makers, eradicated that evil from our lands. Wow. Afterwards, we were hailed as heroes, saviors of the holy watch of Lashayak. Of Lashayak, I don't, I don't know, even know if I'm saying that right. With a period of peace, Don Fayat and I married and settled in the outskirts of Rex Mackinine. But the peace could not last forever. After many years of harmony, word came that Aiz and Pullen had gone missing during a routine pilgrimage to the shrines of the Makers. Turns out a priest of light, of the light, had somehow come into an unimaginable Holy power. requested the Fayat family to once more come to its aid. Thus began my quest to stop Briat's son, the priest, spanning many, many years. <laughs> yeah. Ultimately concluding with his destruction and the salvation of law. Wow! That's a lot to take in. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> My story was longer. <laughs> it wasn't a competition. Thank you, Uta Unata. I feel like I know you a little bit better now. I'm sure with our combined abilities, we'll be able to put a stop to whatever threatens law next. Perhaps. It's very late, Tristina. While this was educational... I must really head to bed. You should, too. Right. Tomorrow's a big day. Good night, Unta Unata. Uata. Uanta. Uanta. Okay. Hard name to pronounce. All of it's hard to pronounce. <clears throat> yeah. After a good night's sleep... <laughs> I'll need about 10 to 20 people on the eastern barricades. Stat, it could be whoever. Archers without assignments, please head over to the western walls. Guardians, please report to Adam. Adam. Come on, people. This is not a drill. <laughs> Would you look at that? Tristina! I need Tristina! Has anyone seen her? Right behind you. Right behind you. Oh! Oh, I didn't, I didn't see you there. Good. Sorry. Um, I believe you'd want to take it from here. It's alright. You're doing a great- Hold on. I feel like- Thank you. After- Ash, wait. Something is wrong. After last time, I need to be stronger. 
This has already happened. Understood. Ash? <laughs> okay, this is getting creepy. Huh. This is different. Who's there? Show yourself, fiend! I hear your cries! Anta! I'm the one asking questions. Why have you brought me here, to this... place? And so suddenly, do you want to give me a heart attack? Is that what you want? Wait! I am Otana, also a hero, and an adventurer, and I come in confusion. Where are we? Right, and now you're gonna mention your grandson. Let's try a How do you know like about him? Oh. Oh! This is different too! What do you know about my grandkids? Wanta, it's me! I don't know what's happening, but... You will rule the day you kidnap me, fiend! Wanta, stop! Okay. Yeah, let me keep sparks. Okay, uh, yeah, it took Wanta and, uh... All the other guests I had. Okay, let's, and I'm trying the uh, Chaos Weaver. <laughs> Forgive me, Lord. Whoa, that was creepy. Okay, uh, let's do Outrage. I like that cuter, ha uh, cuter. Oh, uh, Sparks has the uh, two Frostmoglin little ones on his back. That's kind of funny. Let's see. Let's try this. Okay, so it's a bit like the Soul Weaver, but evil, I guess. Kind of creepy, if you ask me. Okay, let's use Lash. Alright. Yeah, I played this once before, and uh, I actually had to take longer during the past dialogue. Because... Alright. Attack and reduce all cooldowns. Whoa! Yeah. Creepy! Uh... Because I'm going to insert, uh, well, I'll sh you'll see it when you see it. But I, I hope it turns out very cool. I hope you guys like it. I need to do a little bit more voice acting after this for, uh, when our friend, other friend shows up. The running is so weird, though. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Alright, heal. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, okay. I forgot Huanta could do that. Let's do... What effects do I have on me? Okay. Uh... Okay, ripping them all. Dominance. Oh, let's let's try this one. It's probably gonna be nasty. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, it is nasty. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Oh. She wasn't real. 
Hmm. Yeah. Is this the avatars doing? Uh, are you doing this, avatars? Is this some kind of a lesson? Because I'm not getting it. Outstanding. So, you, from the chosen two, are the more capable one. I am pleased to know. Who are you? Well, I guess you're one of the Malurus, right? Yes? How about that? Your clever one. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am Renthalus. I, f uh, I forget what this is called, but a fish has it too at the bottom of the ocean. Kind of creepy. Cool. I'm glad you showed up so quickly. I was instructed to dispose of you and your group. Will you do it, though? I'm not sure. The avatars have clearly stated that you are evil and you have to be dealt with, so there's this pressure of abiding by their rules. But I want to know what exactly you, the Malurus, have done to anger the avatars so much. What evils have you committed so that I can feel good about myself when I defeat you? I need to know that my actions are justified. I... I didn't say that! What? Dreams reveal your true thoughts. I don't... I don't really think that. You... Dreams have no filter. Anything can happen within a dream. Dreams can change you. You put that in my head. Maybe, maybe not. Dreams are so fascinating, are they not? You're in a dream right now. My dream. Or is it your dream? <gasps> Imagine what would happen if you woke up and you were still in someone else's dream. What would happen if they woke up? Yeah, I'm kind of freaked out right now. Would the world stop existing? You wouldn't believe me if I told you about the dreams that I've seen, the dreams that I've experienced. I have been in so many of them, so many, yet they slumber, but never dream. Oh, but only if they dreamed. Perhaps I would be able to change reality itself. Anyways, I got what I came for. You. I like you. I choose you. And because I'm feeling well rested today, here's some advice. Two of my colleagues are preparing something. Don't get your festive hopes up. We'll meet again soon. For now, enjoy this peaceful day. It's on me. Time to wake up. Where are you going to sleep? Oh, I'm gonna have to slow it down and do some uh, little voice acting later. Normally I don't talk during black screens like this, but yeah. Oh, oh so that's what I look like with no makeup on. Okay, I forgot I was wearing makeup. Oh.
Well, I'm never sleeping again. Oh! Tristina! Welcome, champions. Oh, come on! What if I was on the toilet? Give us a little heads up before doing this. Avatars. A little respect, Tristina. Wait. Anta, you still have your armor on. Is this a problem? You sleep in your armor? Of course. From the moment I wake up, I'm ready for adventure. Fair point. Ahem. We have summoned you here again because of another of the Malurs has revealed itself. I know. I just met him. Elaborate. He appeared in my dreams. Rimthalas. A water elf from the Abyssal tribe. A former devote of Cthul Achu. The dream fairer. The spreader of lies. He... He said that today would be peaceful. And something about festivals? Ugh. I hate it when you forget what a, the dream was about was moments after you wake up. Does that mean there won't be an invasion today? I... Was I... Was I looking forward to it? You spoke to it? Well, he did most of the talking. Have, Have you, you been, been compromised? compromised? Wait, w wait, what? We have explicitly told you to dispose of the Malurus members, not to fraternize with them. I wasn't fraternizing. Calm yourself, Kyanus. You must be wary of the discourse with the Malurus. They will plant the seeds of doubt in your mind. These seeds are disruptive. When they are allowed to take root and grow, they reach the sky and cloud your judgment, and your judgment must be unwavering. Well, so you're saying that I have to be obedient to you? I can't make my own judgment? Apologies for my outburst. Please, Avatars, tell me. What have the Malurus done that's so horrible? All I remember is that you said before is that they are bad bad and have to be dead dead. I did not forget that... Uh, I did not get that feeling from Senescence. It was more confused than evil. And neither did I get that... They are evil... Tristina. They are bringers of cha- Of war. Of war. Of destruction. Pity them if you wish, but be assured that should they be left to their own, their devices, law will become uninhabitable. They must be destroyed. If you ask them why they do their deeds, you will receive a different answer from each. Yet the seeds of their evil is the same. You must have faith, Tristina. The Makers know their enemies. There's no way to save them from this seed of evil? We will not interfere as long as you do your duty as our champion. One way or another, these threats must be neutralized. But you must not let doubt shadow your actions. 
for that for in that doubt the seed flourishes if the malurus were to escape your grasp through might or deception the consequences will be dire as to the matter of today it seems the pending malurus influence we detected has retreated most curious you may return for now our champions but we shall be watching well that's one way to start the day it was hard to tell I think I got most of it right but it was hard to tell when Tristina was you know half like I just woke up and what the hell <laughs> so yeah okay that was interesting the avatars really should learn some manners. Yeah, please. Let me get ready before you, you summon me. All right. So that was... Uh, I don't think that was the complete Friday the 13th for this this year, but I think we have some more coming, so I guess that was part one. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like and comment down below. I really appreciate it. Take care of each other. God bless you all. And I'll see you all later. Oh. Well, peaceful or not, today, I, hope, I think this year will be interesting.